Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick update before we jump into your forecast. We are now at 26% and steadily climbing, yay! Thank you so much for everybody who gave this week. I do appreciate uh, definitely all of your gifts. I know each and every gift comes from the heart, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Um, now into your forecasts. Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of August 29th through September the 4th. What we have coming up on Monday is the Eight of Swords showing up in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse is just saying that on Monday we have a breakthrough. There's something, there's some kind of problem somewhere where we felt kind of stuck and it had to do with our own thinking. And because we were feeling stuck in our own thinking, um, we were able on Monday, or we will have been able to on Monday, to let go of whatever that was that was holding us back, to let go of that certain perspective that wouldn't let us move forward, to just leave that behind, to see more clearly where we were limiting ourselves, and to allow ourselves that breakthrough of not limiting ourselves anymore. Yay! Okay, so Tuesday what we have showing up is the King of Coins. The King of Coins on Tuesday is just telling me that we are interacting with somebody on Tuesday who um, is fairly secure financially. This is somebody who um, generally has some pretty decent integrity, pretty good integrity. And when the King of Coins shows up upright, he's somebody who likes to help those people around him to better their lives or to better their situations. And so he may be offering to do something kind for us. Maybe he just wants to take us out for a meal. Or maybe he wants to give us some kind of advice to help us. Uh, maybe he wants to teach us how to invest better or who knows what. But he's offering some kind of help that will... Um, enable us to move forward in a more positive direction and especially likely that this will be in the area of material goods. He could actually be offering to pay for some kind of schooling, um, anything along those lines where he would give something that he would feel like would help put um, us into a better situation as far as material goods go. All right, so let's move on to Wednesday. Wednesday we do have the devil showing up in reverse. What do we have going on here, devil in reverse? Oh no, it's not even in reverse, it's right side up, I'm sorry. Libra had it in reverse a minute ago, so I kind of had that stuck in my brain. Okay, so the devil right side up. Right side up. Why am I being drawn to look at the floor on this card this time? Okay, so we kind of weave our own... We weave our own tapestry in life, pretty much. And so whenever I'm looking at the floor, I'm seeing almost like things that are being crossed over and woven. I'm not sure if this is bamboo shoots or what kind of mat this is here. But to me, this is talking about that we sort of weave our own things. And so we weave into our lives um, our weaknesses. And it's up to us to weave out of our lives our weaknesses as well. And so I feel like this is kind of a process. I feel like we are becoming awakened on Wednesdays, fellow Scorpios, to something that we could be handling a little better or we could be handling a lot better in most of our cases. Um, and we're starting to see where that has held us back is what I have coming up for us on Wednesday. And so as we're seeing where it's held us back, we're seeing where we want to make changes so that we can move forward in a more positive way than we have before. Moving on to Thursday, what we have here is the Five of Coins showing up in reverse. Gosh, a glare no matter how I hold it. All right, so Five of Coins showing up in reverse just tells me that there's something going on that is loosening a budget. I don't know how you guys are feeling, but I am very happy and thankful about that. <laughs> so maybe we're getting something paid off. Maybe we've got another job. Maybe we get a bonus at work. Maybe we've got a raise or a promotion. But something that's coming in and that's giving us a little bit of breathing room for our budget. And that is Thursday. That'll be the first of the month. That's interesting. I'm going to be interested to see how that plays out for me. 
All right, so on Friday, what we have showing up is the falling tower in reverse. The falling tower in reverse is talking about recovering from some kind of situation where we felt like our security had been knocked out from under us. And so when we have the falling tower in reverse and we're doing that recovery, what we're finding out is there are some opportunities around us that we weren't really even looking for before. And so we are finding those, and we're finding them to be better than whatever was taken away from us as far as whatever made us feel secure that's no longer a part of our lives anymore. So this is a really nice recovery card. It's talking about getting on our feet, and it's talking about ultimately the outcome is better than before we had this shakeup in our lives. So it really is a good card. All right, so Saturday, seven of coins showing up. Seven of Coins just tells me that there's something that we've put some energy or some investment into, and now we're harvesting the energy or investment. And so um, if this is something financial, like investing in stocks or bonds, maybe, um, maybe they've gone up enough that we felt like, okay, we want to draw out of that, so we're going to cash out. Or maybe we're just getting paid the dividends on those. Um, this can also be something that comes up as far as emotionally as well. If you've been investing emotionally in a relationship, this can be where you start to see some of that come back to you from the other person in the relationship as well. So it really is just talking about something that you've invested in that now that investment is starting to pay off. Then looking at Sunday, what we have is the Queen of Clubs. I do feel like this time this is talking about us. This is us, you know, tapping into that creative side. Um, tapping into, um, could be our intuition. She's very much creative. Queen of Clubs, she thinks outside the box. She's really good at problem solving because she doesn't let other people limit um, her view of herself or what's appropriate. And... Um, I feel like we're just doing something and we're really in our own creative mojo on Sunday, so to speak. Okay, so, and also this is a nurturing card too. So we could be doing something that's creative, that is in our own mojo, that we're nurturing somebody else. Maybe we're mentoring somebody um, to do something like what we're passionate about, if that other person is passionate about it too, but they aren't as far along in the journey. Maybe we're showing them some tips and some tricks about, you know, how to get better and how to improve on it for themselves. Yep. Okay, so that is our week. Thank you so much, all of you, for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I hope to see some of you for readings or Reiki sessions this week. Those of you that I don't see this week for that, I will see you back here next week. Everyone have a fantastic week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. 
uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no dom donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.